hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm just going to make a video on how to set up the options on interactive brokers. It's it's quite complicated, especially if you're new to the platform and I haven't found anything good in YouTube. So I thought I'll set it up myself so you guys can get the idea on how to set up the options um, on the interactive brokers platform. So this is essentially, I've created a new one, options too. So my normal one is right here. So we'll just click on the plus sign to create a new new tab kind of a thing. So this is for options too. So let's create first an option chain. So I'll just go into new window here and then go ahead with option tool section and then there I'll choose an option chain. So this is essentially the options chain. So I'm just gonna drag this out to make it look bigger. So this is the option chain. I can change the name of it by just typing in. So this is SPY, I can put it to QQQ. And then I'll get the QQQ stock right there. That's NASDAQ. So then that gets populated there. So that's essentially setting up the option chain. Uh, going deep into the option chain, I can choose what I want here. So basically all I have is here is the things that I want. So I normally look at Delta options, volume, and the bids and ask. You will see nothing is moving here and this is because the market is closed because I'm normally busy when the market's open. But normally these numbers will keep on changing when the market's open. So on the top side, you can see the number of days to expiry. So you can see the regular ones are the monthly contracts and the other yellow ones are the weekly contracts. So you can just have to click on these to actually choose which ones you want. So now let's create another one which I really like to do is imply volatility. So for that, I'll go to options analysis and volatility over time and imply volatility by expiry. So this will essentially tell me what the implied volatility is over the past few months or weeks. So this is essentially for two months. So I can change this whenever I want, like I can change this one week or six months so i kind of know when the implied volatility is high as compared to before just going to make this a bit more shorter so this changes when you change this or you can change it manually from this section as well um the next thing i would want is like a watch list because i sometimes look at multiple um multiple stocks or multiple index funds so let's create a watch list and i'm going to place this watch list here slightly more short um, I can put in the name so SPY can be one so then you'll get like a drop down where you can choose a stock okay we'll just click on OK on that so based on this this will keep on changing so if I put SPY here the option chain of that will change so let's put in a few here let's put in QQQ Facebook, Tesla, not that I trade Tesla options, but just for you to understand the gist of it. So this is actually the watch list, but I also like to look at the 52 implied volatility percentile and 52 implied volatility rank. So one of the things I could do is I could insert a column and inside the column I could go to options and click on 52 week IV percentile. So now you'll see the 52 week IV percentile. You can see the Facebook IV is quite high, which is something that I didn't expect. And then you could go to another column and go for the implied volatility rank as well, because some people prefer um, IV rank. So we'll go there, That's tricky. And then create 52 week IV rank. So now I've got the 52 week IV rank and 52 week implied volatility percentage. You can also remove the change. I'm not a big fan of the change percentage or change. I just want to look at the IV ranks and the IV percentile. Um, I'm going to make this slightly shorter because I want to populate it with other things as well. Um, so now I can look at another thing. I could look for a chart. So I'll just put the chart somewhere here. So I can get the general idea. I can choose between dailies or weeklies or monthlies. I can go in here 
and populate it there wherever you fancy doing it let's uh, make this more wider so it'll be more comfortable for you so this is essentially what I would normally look for but another thing I would like to have is the order entry section so don't know where to put it now because it's already populated but I think I'm gonna squeeze this down a bit and I'm gonna add another thing which is quite good because you could get to see the bids and offers and stuff so I'll go to the um, order entry one and then I'll just go down and place this somewhere here so this will essentially tell you the bids and offers and sales and the quantities and the limit price and everything so another thing to look for is the option chain is the strategy builder so this is a really cool thing you can do so say for instance I'm going to SPY here so I click on SPY you can see everything changes uh, daily chart changes the option changes wait for a while for the SPY to log in so now imagine I want to sell a put spread so I click on the bid at 345 and then I click on the ask at the buy leg so it's a one dollar spread so the margin impact you can see immediately is 100 US dollar you can see the um, bids and the uh, bids and ask uh, this is not moving much because the market is closed like I said before you can see the limit price you can see the quantity uh, you'll see the account numbers obviously and then you can go to the profile to essentially see your maximum risk and maximum loss and you'll also know the um, percentage return the profit probability of it as well uh, you also get to see what if the Greeks move or the, what if the underlying moves. So this is essentially the profile graph. Another thing, this is a vertical spread. So the maximum I can make on this is two dollars. So twenty to seventy percent chance. The maximum loss is twenty two percent, which is eighty dollars. So it just gives you a rough estimate on how much you can you can look for. I'll, I'll try another example as well. We'll just clear all the legs. Um, we'll just uh, sell a call I'll just click on the profile so essentially you'll see a typical typical option graph um, that's essentially it in the option strategy builder so I can add things here uh, like I said before I can add things inside columns I can add uh, Greek somewhere in there maybe a theta or a delta or gamma and things like that but I prefer just to have delta option interest volume and the bits and ask um, so that's essentially it in setting up the options um, in interactive brokers I hope you guys enjoyed the video Please subscribe I'll be uploading more videos and options soon and some of my strategies um, and when to buy options and when to sell options I've also posted a few videos on liquidity risk and the oil crash and how you could have made money uh, and also how you could trade it in future if in case those kind of things happen uh, I've also uh, posted a video on liquidity risk which discusses simple topics just based on what should I buy? Should I buy a studio or a penthouse or should I buy a Jeep or a Lamborghini? You know, in any any decisions you make, how a small analysis on liquidity risk can make you buy the exact good product instead of buying not so good products. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, hope you guys have a good day.